This video shows you how to connect your Amazon Marketplace up to BrightPile. We're going to do three different things. We're going to register our Amazon account for Marketplace Web Services. Then we'll create an Amazon Sales Channel in BrightPile. And finally, to make sure that payments come into BrightPile properly, we'll request XML payment information is sent from Amazon. So first of all, we need to register with Marketplace Web Services. If you're in the UK, use the top address. And if you're in the US, use the bottom address. Once you've gone to the right web page, click Sign Up for MWS, and then choose to give a developer access to your Amazon account. The developer name is Bright Pearl, and then the developer account number depends on whether you're in the UK or in the USA. Then just click Next. Accept their terms and conditions, and you now have your Merchant ID and Marketplace ID. Copy these and keep them safe for later. Now we're going to add the Amazon Sales Channel to our Bright Pearl account. So from the Sales Channels menu, click to Manage Channels, and then click the button at the top right to add a channel. Choose Amazon, which installs the Amazon integration and takes you to the Marketplaces screen where you can choose to connect an Amazon Marketplace. On this screen we'll fill out all of the details of our Amazon Marketplace. First of all we choose the country that the Amazon Marketplace is based in. Next we add our Merchant ID and our Marketplace ID. Now that's quite confusing but it needs to be done properly otherwise your Amazon integration won't work. So in the first box you place your Amazon Merchant ID and in the second box, you place your Amazon Marketplace ID. Next, you give the sales channel a name. Let's just call it Amazon UK. And then we choose whether we want Bright Pearl to manage our Amazon prices or not. You could actually create a price list in Bright Pearl specifically for your Amazon store, or you can choose one of your existing price lists. And they need to be in the same currency that your Amazon Marketplace is. So here for my UK one, I've got a retail price list in sterling. I can choose whether Bright Pearl synchronizes inventory with Amazon, and generally when you're first connecting a store, you'd want that turned off, because your Bright Pearl system might not yet have the right stock levels. When orders come down into Bright Pearl, any available inventory can be allocated to that order, and you choose the warehouse here that inventory is allocated from. If you use FBA, you can choose that here, and there's a separate video that shows you how FBA works. If you do choose to synchronise inventory between BrightPal and Amazon, then you can choose the warehouses that inventory is taken from, and you can choose one or more. BrightPal will always download orders from Amazon, and here you can choose the order status on which they're created. And I might choose one called New Web Order. You can choose the channel branding for this particular Amazon store, and in this particular scenario, I'm just going to choose Indo Sports. And then two final settings, the bank account for allocating payments and the nominal code for accounting fees. And there's a separate video that shows you how Amazon Payments works. And we've now connected an Amazon Marketplace. We can now see the Amazon channel added to the top of our channels list. And within a few minutes, you'll be able to see the Amazon listings you have live. And then you'll be able to connect them to your BrightPole products. In order for customers' payments to come into BrightPole as sales receipts, you need to ask Amazon to send your payments report in XML format. So go to your Amazon Seller Central account and then click Help. Click Contact Seller Support and then find your way to somewhere that allows you to add a new Amazon service. And I'm using the new Amazon interface here. Yours might look slightly different. Then all you need to do is raise a ticket that asks for your payment report to be XML. Amazon will typically respond to this within a few days. And that's all we need to do to connect our Amazon account up to BrightPearl. You can connect as many Amazon marketplaces as you like in different currencies as long as there are matching price lists with the right currency in BrightPearl. And don't forget you might want to turn on pricing sync or inventory sync if you connected your marketplace with them turned off.